Welcome to the Trucker Brown channel. Today we're going to talk about how much you should go home today. Now, we're going to put it in some context here. We're going to say this is not for all truckers. Okay, this is for OT are truckers okay so I want you to look at yourself and think am I an OTR trucker if you are not an OTR trucker then do not get butthurt about the statement that I'm about to make if you are an OTR trucker and you happen to be at a mega carrier situation like I am right now as far as the loads I run, I basically I run the same stuff for Prime. I'm pretty much a Prime driver. I just am not leased to Prime. So, we'll just run it as I'm an OTR driver at a bay carrier. I don't take offense to that. I'm not uh, ashamed of it. But if you're an OTR driver and you're at a mega carrier, how many times should you go home? How much should you go home? Ugh, this is going to get me in a lot of trouble. If you ask me my personal opinion, which means it's subjective, it's not law, I say every two months. Every two months, you should go home. It can be done every month, but I say every two months. Okay? Why do you say that, Trucker Brown? I say that because most of the pay scales are set up in a way with uh, mile with mile restrictions meaning if they'll have a pay scale that says something like you'll get fuel bonuses if you do X amount of miles a month which ends up equating to about 2700 miles a week now this is some of them, not all. Oh, well, man, you don't got to do that. We're not talking about you, douchemonger. Get off the page. If you don't know what this is, you need to ask them. So they'll have a little clause in there, or a little fine print in there that say, you got to run twenty. You got to run this many miles a week. So let's say twenty five hundred a week is, no, is something you can do times four. So they'll tell you something like ten thousand miles a month. So, if you're going home every month or every two weeks, you miss those miles. You may get to about 8,300, 8,200, 9,000, but you won't hit their mark. Therefore, they don't have to give you the give you the fuel bonus and the safety bonus. That's at some companies. Also, another thing that equates to your fuel bonus will be uh, with stopping at their fuel stops. They want you to stop at uh, not obsessive, not obsess, not excessive fueling. Just fueling for nothing because you don't feel like stopping the next. You're not you're not doing precision fueling. You're just I stop so I fill it all the way up. That will get you out of the fuel bonus as well. Stopping too much, which runs up, which runs down your uh, MPG, that can get you disqualified from your fuel bonus. Another thing, too, is being late. That can get you disqualified from your fuel bonus. Like, there's a lot of things that can disqualify you from that bonus. Uh, accidents, stuff like that. So, that's one thing as well. Another thing that it does, you, you're, you're out longer to hit the opportunities to get, a bit, to get more money. Okay? So, if, if you are on the board, you stay out two months... Depending on where you're at, you you're gonna notice that the loads are are working in your favor after a while. If you are forcing your dispatcher and salespeople to get you home uh, a lot, there it's gonna affect your money. It's gonna affect your money in the way of they don't consider you serious. That's the quickest way to be at the bottom of a short list. So all you want to do is go home and that's what it looks like 
looks like all you want to do is go home. So why am I investing any of my good loads that I may have into you? You know, the, the you know the, the logical thinking is, um, and this is not for all, but I'm gonna give that to my runners. If you're going home every two, three weeks, you're not one of the runners, dude. You're not. That kicks you out of the running for being a runner. Core hydration. <coughs> I say <coughs> that kicks you out of the running for being one of the runners. Now, if you care about this, look, dude, it's up to you, honestly. I'm just telling you how it's laid out. You're, you you can't be in the running if you're not running. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's that simple. You know, if, well, then I don't want to be out that long. I, hey, bro, you don't have to. It's your check at the end of the day. It's not no one else's. You do what you want. I'm not forcing you to do anything. But if you're online searching videos like these on how you can make your check bigger, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? That's what it is. Either you're an OTR driver or you're a regional driver. Which one are you? Now, if you want to be homeless, you need to go to a regional company. Okay? Prime is not a regional company. You can you can kind of force them into getting you home like that, but it's going to affect your money. And with trucking, they'll just let you run and be broke. Doesn't bother them none. You're just another truck. You know, you're talking about a company that has over 7,000, 8,000, 9,000 trucks, dude. Like, you're a number at this point. You don't want your money. There's thousands of other ones out here that's getting their money. You just another cog in the big machine. Either you're going to run or you're not going to run. Like it, it hurts no one but you, to be honest. You can quit that mega carrier company today. They wouldn't even feel it. Half of the people wouldn't know you were gone. You see what I'm saying? You need to run the truck to make the money okay to make the money depending on what company you're at now if you're at oh, oh sorry y'all running hard if you're at a regional company then you can do that i mean the loads are set up for you to get home like i was at my emory and down at my emory it was a regional company it pretty much was 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 driven to get you home. That's just how it was. That that's just every Friday it was pretty much stop time. That's how they ran it. That's how the loads they had. That's the loads they wanted. That's the loads they coveted. That's the that's the contracts they looked for. So it wasn't working for me because I wanted to run. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to run, and they were not. They didn't have the, the, the loads I needed to run the way I wanted to. I was trying to do too much because it was a regional company, man. You're supposed to be going home on the weekend, buddy. Why are you Why are you back here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what's the deal? So, that was the, that. Was the, that was that. So, if, if you're... The main thing is company selection. Stop picking companies because someone says this company is good. There's no such thing as good. The company is an amoral, if that's the right term, it's an amoral entity. It has no morality. It, it, is, it is what it is. It's a tool. A hammer has no morality, though. Depending on who's using it is what it does. Either it can, do, it can build homes for the homeless, or it can bash people's heads in an alleys. Like, it, it's a tool. Don't pick up an OTR tool and try to do regional work with it. Don't pick up a regional tool and try to do OTR work with it. You see what I'm saying? Is this company what you want it to be? No, then you're at the wrong company. It's not the company's fault. It's your fault. Why are you here? That's like going to a strip club and getting pissed off people are naked. It makes no sense. It makes no sense then it creates people that leave and say oh this company is terrible they wouldn't get me home 
I always had to go to places I didn't want to go. Oh, I don't want to go up the mountains. I'm scared of driving in the mountains. I'm scared of driving at night. It's snow on the ground. You get all that. See, because that Cat Williams say, you get on that horse, you got to ride it. Young buck. And you go out here with your butt cheek meat in the wind, thinking you're going to... I'm going to show them. You ain't showing these companies nothing. You ain't forcing them to do nothing. Even if you get them to send you somewhere, I guarantee what you force them to do is going to cost you. Fact. Pick the company for what you're trying to do. So, that's how we do it. You're going to close your eyes, right? You're going to say, listen. I want to get home every two weeks. That writes Prime right out of the top of it. Stop coming to Prime. You have no reason to go there. That's not... That, why? No reason to go there. Unless you're going to be like a PSD trainer or something. You're not going home every two weeks, bro. And if a, and if a recruiter is telling you that, you probably need to report them because they are flat out lying. They're flat out lying. Okay, OTR balls to the dirty down wall. If you ain't down to run like that, don't come to that check that, that that company. You need to find um, Swift has these dedicated lanes and weird local stuff you can do and semi local stuff. They got a lot of stuff like that. JB Hunt has a lot of that stuff. You're just at the wrong company. You're trying to get home. You got your JB Hunts. You got your uh, 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 Averitt. You got uh, 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 your Swift situation. You have uh, you have a lot of things that get you back to the house. But if you come on YouTube and everybody's using the terms good and bad, you're thinking, well, I'm going to go to this company because it's a good company. Yeah, it may be a good company for someone we like to run. Is that you? Do you like to run? Well, I'm, you know, I got, I got a baby and I'm trying to get back to the house. Then why are you going to that company, dude? You're setting yourself up for disappointment. Get Don't, don't, don't sit on that horse if you ain't trying to do what it got to do, bro. You go to a company that does what you want. You know how many tanker companies get you to the house? You got... The wood chipper people, you got the uh, gravel haulers, dump in dumps, you got all these things that get you back to the house. You jump out there, do the wrong one. You know? If you don't like big women, stop hunting in the Golden Corral. You feel me? Like, what, what, why are you there? Why are you there? It is your fault. You chose to be here. They ain't forced you to come into this company. Well, the recruiter lied to me. Well, recruiters lie, bro. Part of the game. Recruiters lie. That's what they do. They're salespeople. It's just like talking. You talking to a recruiter is just like talking to a um a a, a, a used car salesman. He's gonna tell you whatever you want to know. Hey, yeah, well, you know, this is a nice Honda. You know, this Honda is the EX, which basically means it's the one that has all of the uh, the uh, the S-type stuff on it. So, basically, it's all the S-type stuff without the emblems on it. So, you pretty much got the S-type. But, you know, it just doesn't have the emblems on it just to make it it's a cheaper. It's a lie, dude. It's a lie. It's not true. Is this company an OTR company? Is this company a regional company? Is this company have does this company have direct uh dedicated routes? Does it? If you're driving down the street right now mad that you didn't get to get home when you want to, are you at an OTR company or a, or a regional company? Are you at the right company? Cuz half of this stuff is like shoes, okay? If you do not if you, you you're putting on the wrong shoe. The company's not a good fit for you what you're trying to get accomplished you see what i'm saying why you keep saying it so many ways trucker brown because y'all be acting like y'all don't understand simple crap boy to get you home in a couple weeks and you know boy got a good program over there a lot of people they be sleeping on boyd man i mean boy say a command exit 
Yeah, you see the dub? Garmin status. But anyway, um, it, 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 Boyd has a lot of good stuff going on down. I heard some dudes make pretty good living over there, Boyd. Don't, don't sleep. You see what I'm saying? Go to the right company. Because it gets annoying to the guys out here that run. And uh, when you whining about being home, like, shut up. You chose to come to this OTR company. No one forced you. You know, you didn't do the proper research. Piss poor planning leads to piss poor performance. Simple. You didn't plan out what you were doing. You went to this company. Now you're going to try to force it to fit you. You ain't forcing these companies to do nothing. These are multi-hundred million dollar companies. You are insignificant okay a lion does not concern his brain with the thoughts of the sheep for what i'm eating you you're you're, you're nothing i'm consuming you okay that's what i'm trying to tell you so if you go down to the right the right company you'll be in a better situation you'll be happier that's all i'm trying to say So this leaves the good company question. It renders it mute, moot. How do they say that? It renders it a dumb question because for you to ask me what's a good company for you, I don't know. I like to run. You know what I'm saying? You ain't a runner. You are not a runner. Or you could be. I don't know what you are. So I can't say what's good for you or not. I gotta go through all these questions. How long do you wanna be out? I do I don't get paid to recruit, bro. I don't. All I can tell you, if you try and do some running, go here. If you're just starting off, do a year there, then find a company for a better fit that's gonna get you home more. That's all I can tell you, man. But you have to find your fit. Only you can prevent forest fires. You know what I'm saying? Or or, or you know, don't take my word for it on some reading rainbow type stuff. Yeah, I'm showing my age now. Y'all young bucks don't know nothing about no reading rainbow. But that's that. And uh, that's how I feel, man. I just want to go on and tell y'all the truth, dog. That's how I'm, listen, man. I'm just stopping dropping dribblings, man. That's how I feel. Welcome to the Diggy Down Brown channel, man. If you are new to this channel, I suggest you sub. Okay? Sub. You need to sub. I'm going to get it to you raw, straight. You know? Right out of the package, dog. I don't boil it or nothing. Just potent, pungent. Here. Don't do drugs with Chuck Brown.